So praise the Lord. I was thinking about this this morning. Estaba pensando acerca esta mañana. I was wondering if uh, we should do uh, interpretation in Spanish. Y estaba pensando si vamos a hacer interpretación en español. En Korea. Y coreano también. Should we do that? Podemos hacer eso. Do we have somebody that would want to help? Tenemos alguien que nos pueda ayudar. So we have three interpretations. Tendríamos tres interpretaciones. English, Spanish, español, and uh, Korean. Is that okay? Coreano también está bien. Does anybody want to help? Alguien quiere ayudar. That's okay. I can do it. In, I can do it in English, and uh, you need to pray for the interpretation by the Holy Spirit. <laughs> yeah. Hello, hello, you. How many? Everybody understand English? No, but the all the people understand English. They're fluent in English. So we do Korean, we do Spanish and English, okay? And uh, this is a first for us because um, we don't we don't normally even have my notes ahead of time. So say that I didn't have my notes ahead of time. <laughs> okay, you could you know you can call me that funny guy with the big ears. I don't even know what you're saying. <laughs> you want to do that? Okay. So I'm gonna. Do you have your Bible? Can somebody bring a Bible for her? Because I want to have her read out of uh, 1 John a little bit. All right. This is called Impromptu Preaching. Is that okay? Sí, Hallelujah. Diferente. I believe God. I believe God. Yo creo que Dios wants to touch your heart today. Quiere tocar su corazón hoy. <laughs> Today's title of my sermon is Love Your Neighbor. El título de mi de mi sermón es Ame a su vecino. Maybe we should practice this ahead of time. That's okay. I'm going to read uh, the first couple verses out of John, First John. But before I do that, let's pray. Father in heaven, we thank you for this gathering service. And Holy Spirit, I pray that you just guide our words today and touch our hearts and minds, that you may be glorified in us and in earth. Father God, I thank you for the love that you have for us and the love that we are growing to have for one another. In Jesus' name, amen. I'm going to start reading in chapter Two, Pastor Jorge is going to read in Spanish. And what is your name? Because I don't know. Tahi. Tahi is going to read in Korean, okay? And we're just going to do this really slow. We're not in a rush this morning. If you would give us a little liberty to do this, I hope everybody would understand the message um, that's going to be said. Chapter 2, verse 1. My dear children, I write this to you so that you will not sin. But if anyone does sin, we have one who speaks to the Father in our de defense, Jesus Christ, the righteous one. He is the anointed sacrifice for our sins, and not only for ours, but also for the sins of the world. We know that we have come to know him if we obey his commands. The man who says, I know him, but does not do what the command is, is a liar. And the truth is not in him. But if you obey his words, God's love is truly made complete in him. This is how we know we are in him. Whoever claims to live in him must walk as Jesus did. Verse 7. Dear friends, I am not writing you a new commandment, but an old one, which you have since the beginning. This old commandment is the message you have heard, yet... 
verse 8. Yet, everybody say yet. yet. I am writing you a new command. Its truth is seen in him and in you. Because the darkness is passing and the true light is already shining. Anyone who claims to be in the light must, uh, but hates his brother is still in darkness. Whoever loves his brother lives in the light. And there is nothing in him to make him stumble. But whoever hates his brother is in darkness and walks around in darkness. He does not know where he is going because darkness has blinded him. I'm going to stop right there to verse 11. So Pastor Hoy, just 1 through 11 and 1 through 11. Please stop. Mis queridos hijos, les escribo cosas para que no pequen. Pero si alguno peca, tenemos a ante el Padre a un intercesor, a Jesucristo el justo. Él es el sacrificio por el perdón de nuestros pecados y no solo por los nuestros, sino por los de todo el mundo. ¿Cómo sabemos si hemos llegado a conocer a Dios? Si obedecemos eh, sus mandamientos, el que afirma lo conozco, pero no obedece sus mandamientos, es un mentiroso y no tiene la verdad. En cambio, el amor de Dios se manifiesta plenamente en la vida del que obedece su palabra. De este modo sabemos que estamos unidos a Él. El que afirma que permanece en Él debe vivir como Él vivió. Queridos hermanos, lo que les escribo no es un mandamiento nuevo, sino uno antiguo que han tenido desde el principio. Este mandamiento antiguo es el mensaje que ya oyeron. Por otra parte, lo que les escribo es un mandamiento nuevo cuya verdad se manifiesta tanto en la vida de Cristo como la de ustedes. Porque la oscuridad se va desvaneciendo y ya brilla la luz verdadera. El que afirma que está en la luz pero odia a su hermano, todavía está en la oscuridad. Y el que ama a su hermano, permanece en la luz y no hay nada en su vida que lo haga tropezar. Pero el que odia a su hermano está en la oscuridad y ella vive y no sabe a dónde va porque la oscuridad no lo deja ver. 나의 자녀들아 내가 이것을 너희에게 쓰면 너희로 죄를 범치 않게 하려 함이라 만일 누가 죄를 범하면 아버지 앞에서 우리에게 대한 자가 있으니 곧 의로우신 예수 그리스도시라 저는 우리 죄를 위한 화목을 제, 화목 제물이니 우리만 위할 뿐 아니오 온 세상의 죄를 위하시니라 우리가 그의 계명을 지키면 이로써 우리를 우리가 저를 아는 줄로 알 것이오 저를 안오라 하고 그의 계명을 지키지 아니하는 자는 거짓말을 하는 자요 진리가 그 속에 있지 아니하되 누구든지 그의 말씀을 지키는 자는 하나님의 사랑이 참으로 그 속에서 온전케 되었나니 이로써 우리가 저 안에 있는 줄을 안오라 저 안에 거한다 하는 자는 그의 행하시는 대로 자기도 행할지니라 사랑하는 자들아 내가 새 계명을 너희에게 쓰는 것이 아니라 너희가 처, 처음부터 가진 옛 계명이 옛 계명이니 이옛 계명은 너희가 너희의 들은 바 말씀이거니와 다시 내가 너희에게 새 계명을 쓰노니 저희 저에게와 너희에게도 참된 것이라 이는 이 어둠이 지나가고 참빛이 벌써 비추리니라 빛 가운데 있다하며 그 형제를 미워하는 자는 지금까지 어둠 가운데 있는 자요. 그의 형제를 사랑하는 자는 빛 가운데 거하여 자기 속에 꺼림이 없으나 그의 형제를 미워하는 자는 어두운 가운데 있고 또 어두운 가운데 행하며 갈 곳을 알지 못하나 못하나니 이는 어두움이 그의 눈을 멀게 하였습니다. Amen. Praise the Lord. Uh, the reason I want to do this because I want you to understand that think the words that I'm about to speak. 가서 볼라 que estoy haciendo y las palabras que estoy a punto de decir are the words from the Word of God. <laughs> uh, That'd be hard for me to get through. I'm just not used to this. I don't know how to do it. You're not fluent in Korean? Yeah. <laughs> I'm definitely not fluent in Korean. Would it be better? Um, I have a talk at the end. Okay. 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 That's fine. No, that's fine. We'll, we'll have to practice.
practice uh, again. So everybody knows that we should love our neighbor, correct? Uh, Jesus said there's two commandments. Jesus said there's two commandments. One, the first commandment, is to love God with all our heart, with all our soul, with all our mind, with everything within us. And the other one is like this, Jesus said, that we should love our neighbor as ourselves. But John here, uh, repeats this command and tells us that we should love a, a, a little differently. We should uh, love those that are part of the church. We should love those that call themselves Christians. We should love the, the gathering the iglesia the church the church amen so why did Paul write this this way I'm sorry John John wrote the, this book since his name is on the top of the page <laughs> John was given instruction to the church he was writing a letter and gave some uh, specific instruction that if you are in Christ Jesus that if Jesus is your Lord if he's your Savior then you can't dislike other people in the church you can't have unforgiveness or hatred towards somebody that is part of the light. Because if we're part of the light, then Jesus is in us. And His Spirit is deposited in us. And if His Spirit is deposited in us, then we have this, the, the gifts of the Spirit in us. We have the fruit of the Spirit in us. And one of the fruits of the Spirit is love. Yes? Is love. And how many, don't raise your hand, have trouble loving your neighbor? Oh, my hand down. Sometimes we have trouble a veces tenemos problemas understanding entendiendo our neighbors a nuestros vecinos. and sometimes in the church y a veces en la iglesia, we like to separate ourselves nos separamos entre nosotros mismos. Uh, by nations, by culture, by language because we're just different Porque somos diferentes. or maybe John, o tal vez Juan was talking about estaba hablando Maybe somebody that offended us que nos ha a within the church. De la Now you can raise your hand. ¿Cuánto, cuánto la mano? How many have ever been offended by other, another believer? De han sido por otro antes? Come on. Yes. Vamos. Otro so, and the rest of you are telling the truth, so you know. Come on. <laughs> yes. We've been offended by a brother or sister. Hemos sido ofendidos por otros hermanos. Now I've learned Pero yo aprendí over 30 years of ministry de 30 años que tengo en and Christian life y la vida cristiana, that sometimes we can get offended que a veces podemos ofendernos by the most minute things. Por cosas tan 
I will tell you a story Le voy a decir una historia that happened to me, que me pasó a mí as a pastor, como pastor in uh, North Carolina. En Carolina del Norte. I was uh, Tina, my wife. Y yo, eh, Tina, she's mi esposa, back there. Say, wait, 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 35 wait. wonderful years together. Yes, I love her. Yes. We were ministering in North Carolina. And I had um was I was very busy one Sunday morning. Like this morning if you came in. And I was moving through the hallway. And one of the ladies that were there, I walked past real fast. And I went into work with the children. And I was driving the bus and I was taking her home with some other people. And she stopped me and she said, Pastor, you made me really mad. The worst things you want to hear is a pastor. Um, and I said, what did I do? And she said, when on Sunday in the morning, you walked right past me and didn't say hi. And instead of holding a grudge against me, she came to me and talked to me about it. And you know what my first words were to her was? I'm sorry. Forgive me. And she said, I do. And everything was okay. That is how we're supposed to take care of conflict in the church. Amen? How many would like to do that? How many right now have somebody that's offended you that you still have, you haven't forgiven? Come on. Vamos. Yeah, see. Um, that is that that what happens Lo que pasa, it affects you le afecta, to understanding the word of God. Aprender la palabra del Señor. And how many know it's very difficult to pray to God de saben que es when you have offense against somebody that's a brother or sister in Christ? Por un en Cristo, Jesús. Yeah. John was saying here that's that is like being in darkness. Es como estar en when you hate somebody or you hold that grudge against somebody it's like being in darkness oh, uh, this is the truth come on this is this is uh, I hope this impacts your spirit this morning to understand that when we have, have offense against somebody then it's our responsibility to go to that person and make things right come on who's it, now that's just the opposite of the world. The world says when somebody offends us that we should get mad at them. We should uh, uh, get back at them. We should ignore them. Talk about them. Right? Because we're mad. Because they offended me. And that's, but that's not what Jesus says. And John was reminding us here that we need to act like people that are in the light not in darkness that's why I said this is a new commandment or, excuse me this is an old commandment but yet I want you to look at it differently I want you to look at it not as a world like your neighbors that are unsaved I want you to look at it differently as people within the church brothers and sisters in Christ I want you to look at them as, as your real brother and your real sister. How many have brothers and sisters here? I have five. And when we were little, me and my brother would, my three, two brothers, so we would wrestle. And for whatever reason, I was better than my other brothers. I would beat them up all the time. <laughs> But you know what? When somebody would come against us, we would stand together and fight. 
nos uníamos. We would let nobody mess with our family. Y nadie se, eh, we would protect each other. Nos protegíamos. And we, even to this day we do. Hasta este día todavía lo hacemos. And that's how we have to be in the church. Y eso es como tenemos que hacer en we have to love each other. Tenemos que amar. We have to not talk about each other. No hablar uno al otro. We should protect each other. Debemos protegernos. We should not say anything uh, bad about a person in the church. No debemos decir nada malo en contra de alguien. Amen. Don't look at me all sad face. Now come on, put a smile on your face. Come on, this is not this is this is true stuff. This is this is good medicine. Amen. You thought you were just gonna come and have good good lunch after church. But today I want to give you a solid piece of uh, of scripture that will help us as a church grow together. Amen. 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 So when we when we uh, when we meet together like this, and, uh, sometimes uh, oh, I just want to go there. Sometimes because of culture, right? Like Pastor Jorge, I say Pastor Jorge, let's meet at noon. And what time do you come here? 12.30 So I could get I, and it's okay you know it, I could get mad at Pastor Jorge or I could just go to sanctuary and pray for half hour <laughs> right because culture is different sometimes so we at, in the American church we start at 10 o'clock the Korean church starts Right, ten o one. A la diez y uno. Right, right on time. But sometimes we don't do that. Pero a veces no hacemos eso. Is that okay? Está bien. Sí. It's okay. It's <laughs> fine. You love me, right? Well, I know you. <laughs> it's okay because I mean, it's easy for us. Porque es fácil para nosotros. To use this word. Para usar esta palabra. Complaining. Para Nobody here, though. Nobody here. Nadie escucha. But some churches, Pero algunas iglesias, mucho complaining. Se quejan mucho. Yeah. Quejan. 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 Quejan mucho. Quejan mucho. Mucho quejan. Angel, is that okay? Did I say that right? <laughs> Working on my Spanish here. Quejan, quejan. Queja. 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 Complain. Queja. 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 Thank you. Queja. Don't complain. No se que. The Bible in Philippians, La Biblia dice chapter 4, capítulo cuatro, says when we complain, cuando nos quejamos, it's a sin. Es pecado. Oh, so everybody bow their heads. Todos los días son and ask Jesus to forgive you right now. Because complaining leads to. So if you would go and turn to your Bible, just turn it over one page. Uh, chapter 2, verse 15. And I'm going to show you what John was trying to convey to the believers in the word here so we understand that when we don't love each other as brothers and sisters in Christ we are fulfilling our fleshly desires verse 15 says this and, and John was saying don't be like this don't be like the world don't be like the complaining people you are believers you love one another this is what I'm commanding you to do and if when you start complaining and not loving each other it's like the world verse 15 says this do not love the world or anything in the world if anyone loves the world the love of the father is not in him for everyone in, in the world Every, for everything in the world, the craving of sinful man, the lust of the eyes, and the boasting of what he has and does, comes not from the Father, but from the world. The world and its desires pass away. 
but the man who does the will of God lives forever. No amen al mundo ni nada de lo que hay en él. Si alguien ama al mundo, no tiene el amor del Padre, porque nada de lo que hay en el mundo, los malos deseos del cuerpo, la codicia de los ojos y la arrogancia de la vida, proviene del Padre, sino del mundo. El mundo se acaba con sus malos deseos, pero el que hace la voluntad de Dios permanece para siempre. Amen. In the world, en el mundo, we, it says, dice to us, a nosotros, get as much as you can. De lo más que usted pueda. In Father God's love, en el amor de nuestro Padre, we're supposed to give nosotros tenemos que dar as much as we can. Lo más que nosotros podamos. Our lives for the kingdom of God, nuestras vidas para el reino our de Dios, nuestras finanzas para el reino de our Dios, our skills for the kingdom of God, todo, todo lo, los talentos que Everything nos within us todo lo que to Dios ha dado. serve and love one another. Es para servir y a, a otros. So in As I understand this, y como yo entiendo esto, don't beat me up, okay? No se... For this, no se enoje por esto. you cannot be selfish Usted no puede ser egoísta and be a believer. Y ser un creyente. Yes? ¿verdad? Sí. You cannot be selfish. Usted no puede ser un egoísta. You can't seek after your own desires, Usted no puede buscar su propio your own wants and own needs. Sus propias necesidades. Because In that, en eso, the love of the Father el amor del padre is not conveyed to the world no está con el mundo, or to each other. O hacia, hacia nosotros. And the love of the Father y el amor del padre is the greatest thing that we can give es lo mejor que to each other que de, para hacia nosotros, and to the world out there. Y hacia el mundo. We should love God que amar a Dios with all our heart, con todo nuestro corazón, with all our soul, con toda nuestra alma, with all our mind, con toda nuestra mente, and with all our spirit, everything is with us. Amen. Amen. And then love our neighbors ourselves. Y amar a vecinos, ¿sí? Yeah. I want you to love those that are believers. Amen. Even more. I would like to challenge you today to go and read uh, 1 John. Y que lea primera de Juan. Uh, first John, second John, third John. There's, it takes you about 15 minutes to read. Primera, segunda, tercera, all three minutos, books. Toma, 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 And I want you to circle in your Bible. Quiero que circule en su Biblia. Every time. Cada vez a un círculo en su Biblia. It says, "Dear children." Y diga, hijos amados. John was as a uh, an elder in the church. Juan era uno de los ancianos en la iglesia. As a as a father figure. Como as one that walked with Jesus the one who was there when he prayed when he prayed the last prayer in John 17 for us he prayed that we would be one as a father and him are one he prayed for us to do that so that the world may know him so as we can bear our love one to another and as we begin to grow in that love one for another it, something happens supernaturally that the world sees our love for each other and are drawn to Jesus Amen That's the greatest thing we can do. Eso es lo mejor que podemos hacer. If you want to work for God's kingdom, si te quieres trabajar por el reino de Dios, love the person to your right ame su persona and love the derecha. person to your left. Y ame la que love the person quiere. behind you oh, ame la and que love que the person in front of you. Y ame la que and that quiere. way we can be what John, what John was trying to tell us y ahí lo que that we walk in the light We don't walk in darkness. And as John 17 tells us, the world will be drawn to Christ. I have to think sometimes that I have to think about myself and the way I think and the way I act and the way I say things. Am I really conveying Christ to, to my family, to my children, to my church, to Pastor Jorge, to all the believers? I have to convey one thing, the message. 
Maybe in your life too. Posiblemente en su vida. They can say that person I know. Esa persona que yo conozco. They love me. Me ama. I, I can tell them anything. Yo puedo decirle cualquier when, cosa. I'm, when I'm hurting, Cuando estoy herido, I can go to them. Puedo ir a él. I, they'll pray for me. Ellos por mí. They'll encourage me. Ellos me animarán. Amen. Amen. That's the love of God. Es el amor de Dios. And that's how the church it is. Y la and John en Juan was not writing no to the world. Al mundo. It not, in the first book, in the Gospel of John, en el primer libro de Juan, we have that famous verse un, in chapter 3 after Nicodemus went and talked to Jesus we know that it says for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have eternal life so John was writing to the, the, the non-believers, those that, those that still didn't believe that. But in John, 1 John, chapter 1 or chapter 2 and chapter 3, he's writing to the believers, you and me. And he's saying this, love your, each other. Amen. Amen. That's all I have to say. Love each other. Amen love each other in this place we had a uh, let me close with this story from last from last Sunday Tina could you come and play uh, maybe I'll break the father's letters or whatever you know when uh, last last Saturday we had um, a prayer meeting and we had about 80 people in church up here praying together not for ourselves but for the, for the city of Madison that the church would be a great light to the unbelievers at the campus uh, at the, at the uh, capitol building uh, in our neighborhoods and it was just a presence of God here that was so beautiful just peaceful just amazing and everybody it seemed we were one and the, and the chapter the verse that we used was John 17 21 that says that the prayer that part of the prayer that Jesus prayed that he prayed that, Father, I pray for those that believe in the message that they be one as we are one so that the world may know him, know Jesus. Not John, not, not, not Pastor Bob, not Pastor Bore, not Pastor Kim or Pastor Jim, but that we would know him and the service ended about 10 o'clock people left about 11 the next day uh, I think I got home around midnight or so uh, the next day as we had service in here uh, the presence of God was just so just like it is now just not just a sweet presence. Era una presencia muy dulce. And I had uh, Angel, Angel come here brother. Y, uh, Angel, Angel prayed for the needs of the people that morning. Y Angel oró por las necesidades de las personas esa mañana. And I want to do that before we close today. Because we, we love you. Because we love you. We love you. And we love you. And we want you to know the love of the Father. And oh, there's so many people here that are have so many different things going on in their lives. And if, if you have um, if you have a need that you have that you want Father God to touch today, in just a minute when we pray, I'm just ask you to raise your hand. Just, last week we had a smaller group so we just had uh, people tell us what they need 
y la gente cuando decía como que un momento que nosotros oráramos So I think we'll just have you raise your hands. Y solo vamos a dejar que ustedes levanten sus manos si tienen necesidad. Don't be, don't be embarrassed. No yeah. tenga pena. We're family. Y somos una familia. Amen. And we love you. Y lo amamos. And we want God to touch you. Y quiero que Dios lo toque. And we know the greatest thing in our lives is to have an, an experience with the Lord. Y una de las grandes cosas es tener una experiencia con el Señor. And it's good. Y es bueno. When God's people are together. Cuando el pueblo de Dios está junto. En su casa. So if you have a need today, si usted tiene una necesidad hoy, and you have a need and you want God to touch you today, si usted tiene una necesidad y quiere que Dios toque hoy su vida, would you just raise your hand? Puede usted levantar su mano. Just everybody, just right, right across the sanctuary. You want God? Yes, sí. yes, yes. Richard, I levante su mano si usted tiene una necesidad. All right, all these people have their hands raised, brother. Yes. Some financial needs. Algunos financieramente. Some. Uh, physical needs. Uh, like I know Rajiv back there, he's waiting for his visa so he can stay in America. Uh, uh, so he can stay in America. Uh, it, you know, it's, it's, it's running out of time. He needs God to intervene. Amen. Anyone else that has a, has a need? All right, brother, you see their hands. Just Dear God, Señor, Father, you see every hand that is raised here today, Father. And Father God, we don't know, Lord, what are the needs of the, of the people who have raised their hands here today, Father. But you do, God. And today, Lord, Father, we want to bring to you the needs of all the people who have raised their hands. And Father, we want to give you the honor, Lord, and the glory, Father. And we believe, Lord, that you can heal everybody here today, God. Every need, Father, can heal every need. Father. Ser hoy. Father, we believe that you own a thousand cattle tú, and a thousand hill, Lord. El dueño de los mil. And so, Father God, we just know, Lord, sabemos that you are sovereign. Que tú eres soberano. And so, Father, today, God, y hoy, Padre, we bring you our petitions. Te traemos nuestras peticiones. And we put them before you, God. Y las traemos delante de ti. And we ask God that you extend your hand out on this congregation and that you touch each and every soul God. Father, that you begin to work, Lord, and transform, Father, our minds, Lord, and our hearts, God. And Father, Father, Every medical need here, Lord. Jesus. Any discomfort in the bodies here, God. Father, we ask, Lord, that you touch que toques these people here today. A estas personas. Who are dealing with soreness in their bodies, Lord. Que han tenido dolor en sus cuerpos. Or who are dealing with any types of sickness, God. O cualquier clase de enfermedad. Oh, Father, we pray for those who are, who are, who are dealing with worries in their minds. Que están pasando por preocupaciones. Because we ask that you lift this burden up, Father God. Quites esa carga, Señor. We believe that you can take this, Father. Creemos que tú puedes tomar eso. And Father, we ask you, Lord, to, to just pour out que derrames joy, Father, and gozo and peace y paz over these people here today. Sobre ellos, Padre. Father, we need a touch from you. Necesitamos un toque. That's why we are here today. Por eso que estamos aquí. And so, Father, today we cry out to you, Lord. Hoy clamamos a ti. Father, we just pray, Lord. Le oramos. That you hear our prayer. That you honor. Que tú nos prees. 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 Father, we give you thanks, Lord. Le damos gracias, Señor. Father, we give you all of the glory, Lord. 
Damos toda la for what is going on here today, Father. Está hoy Father, we thank you for the word Damos that you have given us today, Father. Father. We thank you for the message that you have given us, Father. Father, we pray, Lord, that it enters our heart, Father. And that your love is displayed to us. Father, again, we just thank you. We just thank you, Lord. We want to lift you up in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Receive the love of the Father. Receive the love of the Father. today that Possiblemente hoy, I just thought of this, I'll let me just pray. Um, maybe you're here today and there's aquí. a brother and sister that you have uh, anger or hatred or unforgiveness for. And I would just, before we go any further, Antes de pasar más adelante, right where your state's, where your state, would you Ask the Lord to help you forgive that person. Sometimes a person like myself might not know we offended somebody. And we need God's intervention to bring healing to ourselves and, and forgiveness for that person. And Father, I just pray for anyone here that has unforgiveness or hatred towards another believer. Father, pray healing and forgiveness in that relationship. Father, set them free. In the name of Jesus, we thank you for that. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Let's give God I want to give you some instruction. We do have uh, uh, everybody's advice.